Ever imagined a bridge so tall it could tickle the clouds? Okay, maybe not tickle, but come close enough? Well, let's plunge into the fascinating realm of the Milau Viaduct. Spoiler! No bungee cords needed. France. Land of romance, baguettes, the Eiffel Tower, and the world's tallest bridge. That's right! The French didn't just stop at giving the world magnificent wines and perfumes. They went a step further and defied gravity. But how? Let's get this straight. This isn't just any bridge. We're talking about a bridge that's taller than the Eiffel Tower. Yes, you heard that right. And if you think the Eiffel Tower's got a height complex now, just wait. Now, bridges have been around for centuries, linking lands and making our lives a whole lot easier. But the Milau Viaduct wasn't just about connection. It was about making a statement. An architectural declaration of, look at what we can do. But why go so big? The Tarn Valley below, as picturesque as it is, posed a tiny problem. And by tiny, I mean massive. Traditional bridges would have been too steep, and tunnels? Well, let's just say, they weren't on the cards. So, the French thought, why not go above and beyond? And so, they did. Building the tallest bridge on Earth isn't a cakewalk. You're battling wind, gravity, and a bunch of physics stuff that might make your head spin faster than a merry-go-round. But the genius behind this? British architect Norman Foster. Yeah, it took a Brit to rise to the French challenge. Talk about an entente cordiale. A secret sauce in the construction? The pylons. Picture a beastly 803 feet tall pylon piercing through clouds. And these pylons don't just stand there looking pretty. They bear a mammoth load of the steel roadway, making sure everything stays up, up, and away. It's not just the height that's jaw-dropping. The length of the bridge? A whopping 1.5 miles. That's a lot of tarmac. And while you might think driving across it is all about getting from point A to B, it's more about the journey and less about the destination. The views? Let's just say, if you have acrophobia, you might want to keep your eyes on the road. But the Milau Viaduct isn't just an engineering marvel. It's poetry in concrete and steel. It's a testament to what humans can achieve when they truly push boundaries. And guess what? It only took three years to build. Three years. Some of us can't even commit to a diet plan for a month, and here they were, crafting history. Speaking of crafting, the bridge isn't just functional. It's aesthetic. With its slender columns and delicate looking stays, it almost appears as if it's floating. Magic? No sir. Just top-notch engineering. But here's a fun tidbit. If you're planning to drive down the viaduct, keep your wallet ready. It's a toll bridge. I guess, viewing marvels comes with a price. But. Between you and me, it's worth every penny. Now, the next time someone talks about reaching for the skies, remind them of the Milau Viaduct. Because sometimes, it's not about the height, it's about the audacity to dream big. After all, in the world of architecture, if you're not bridging gaps, what are you doing?